Hey guys, Phil here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Inatech Bluetooth keyboard model number BK1001. Okay, so this is the keyboard. It's really, really thin. You'll get the keyboard, charging USB cable, and the instruction manual. On the back of the keyboard, there's a felt-like leather material to keep it from sliding around too much. It's not really that grippy, it's not a rubber, but it does help add some friction to the back of this keyboard. I have it plugged in right now into the USB port in the back, and there will be a red light here to indicate that it's charging. Now, as you can see, because it's so thin, it tends to have a little bit of flexibility to it. So this doesn't actually sit completely flat on my desk. You see it's a little bit lifted on that side. If I press this side down, it's a little bit lifted on this side. So, but I wouldn't try bending this too much. Here's how the keyboard compares to a full-size keyboard. It's about two-thirds as wide. And you've got the directional pad here. The keys are a little bit smaller than what they are on a full-size keyboard. And they're a little bit closer together. So let's turn this on. Press the power button again, and the Bluetooth indicator will start blinking. That means it's in pairing mode. So on my phone, it comes up here. It's Bluetooth 3.0 keyboard. And now it tells me to put in a passcode, and you have to type that into the keyboard. And then once you do that, it successfully pairs with the keyboard. So as you can see, it's pretty responsive. When I type, the text shows up right away. It's up and down. I can scroll up and down using the arrow keys. So they have function buttons here on the top right. One is Android, one is Windows, and one is iOS. And that controls these um, different functions up here above the F keys. So for example, there's a volume up and down. If I hold down the for Android, because this is an Android phone, and press volume up, it will change my volume. And I can also change it down. And they have cut, copy, paste, and search, and hold. That's pretty neat. So I don't really have a problem typing on this keyboard, reaching all the keys, because the keys are so small. Um, it might take a little getting used to, because the keys are a different size than my typical keyboard. It feels fine. My fingers don't feel cramped on it. And when typing, I haven't made a ton of errors, which is good. I like that it's super thin. It's lightweight. It makes it very portable. The plastic could be a little more rigid. My only concern would be with bending this and breaking it. Overall, I think this is a cool keyboard to use. It's a great travel accessory if you don't like typing on a small screen or want to type faster than you can with typical mobile input methods. If you're just looking for something that you can travel with that's light, that works with your device, then this one's quite adequate. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this review. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. And please join me next time.